Hey guys, just like to ask if you could like and subscribe and comment on the video with any thoughts you might have had because it goes a long way towards helping support my channel. Thank you. Hello and welcome to the Sandman. Um, so this is gonna be one of the uh three horror games we're going through. Maybe it could be more than three depending on how sh short some of these are or how long they are. But um, anyway, Sandman is one of the games we're playing, and. It is a sequel to a previous game we played, but we played last year called The Crooked Man. Um, so I didn't want to make the same mistake I made with Oxen Free 2, where I just didn't really look up anything from the first game to remind myself of what happened. So I do rem I did make sure to find out what the names of the characters were. David was the main character. He he had some things going on, but he was overall a nice dude. Um, Paul and Marion were the friends that he was staying with, but they weren't in the game that often. Um, I, I should probably double check. Um, what was the name of the girl that he... Actually, he met different characters. They didn't really come back much. Outside of just, um... Uh, just double check the characters. Sophie... Heath. Oh, no, this is showing characters from the other games, too. Okay, hold on, hold on. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we've seen Sophie. But Sissy, she was the one in the school. David was the main character. Um, Shirley seems familiar. Was that... Was that his ex or something? I don't, I don't remember. Anyway, but I didn't want to make the same mistake where I'm just, like, seeing names and not remembering they're from the last game. But I will say, I from what I do know, this game is not about the same characters. I don't think so, at least. I'm, actually, what does it have for load? Yeah, I was going to say, I haven't played this before. I don't know if it'd be like, oh, so you're continuing the last one, huh? But, um, so yeah, this is about the Sandman, not the Crooked Man. So this is, in theory, a different story. All right. About different characters. But it's probably loosely connected. Anyway, this is a horror game. It contains scares and grotesque content, so refrain from playing if you feel like you can't handle it. Again, this is for the October series of games. Playing all spooky games, or at least horror adjacent. You know, like, this probably does isn't all that scary, per se. You know, like, not jump scares, at least. But it will have a lot of grotesque and horror imagery. Same thing for Sinking City. Um, the Fall 2 probably will be the least scary of the ones, just because it's only somewhat horror-related. Honestly, I probably could have found... Well, I mean, I haven't even recorded that one yet, just to be completely honest. I could switch that up. It's not too late. could find a different game to play for that instead of the Fall 2. But I've been wanting to play the Fall 2 for a long time. I just keep getting backtracked on it, and I wanted to play that. Anyway, though... Might find something else, though, and just play that one outside of this. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, okay. Please adhere to the following rules to prevent trouble. These rules conflict with the rules of the author's site. The rules on the site take priorities. Please check. I'm not checking. No repurposing resources. No redistribution of game files. Do not cut the end credits from videos of the game. That is fair. I will try to remember not to cut the end credits. I'm not saying I won't talk through them, but uh, I won't cut them. Because, honestly, they do deserve credit. But I'll try and talk through it at least, just so it's not just watching credits for however many minutes. Shh. Um, so yeah. The Sandman. This should be much more related to sleep and dreams, I would assume. So. Be ready for that. Quiet, dear. Not another word. There's nothing to worry about. It's only a monster. Moaning in the closet. <laughs> nothing to worry about. Moaning monster. It's, it's fine. Just in our closet. It's not even in the room with us. It's in the closet. It's fine. Just kidding. Hmm. You're still not sleepy, are you? Then I'll tell you a scary story. You know, I do question the logic 
of telling kids scary stories to make them go to bed? Because won't that just lead to them having nightmares? It's like, I'm kind of, like, I'm not a parent. And I've never had to, like, put someone to sleep. It's like, you know, just uh, my videos, you know, I'm sure they get people to sleep. Ha <laughs> ha, got him, got him self burn, ha <laughs> ha. Anyway, but, like, the most I've had is that I am terrible at falling asleep. It takes me forever, and my mind just won't stop working, you know. I won't stop, like, thinking about stuff and, and just, you know, just uh, being awake. <laughs> but I, for me, like, I was always very big on, like, stories. I loved reading books as a kid. Um, I loved watching movies, TV shows, stuff like that, playing video games that had stories to them. You know, I always loved stories and being a part of some sort of adventure. I loved adventures, loved action, that sort of thing. So a lot of the books that I read were like adventure YA books, you know, Harry Potter, Warriors books, all sorts. <laughs> um, but I would say that as much as I, as great as they were for me to read about and, you know, to connect with characters, see different perspectives, all sorts of things like that, they probably weren't good for me falling asleep. You know, they'd get me thinking about things, imagining, you know, stuff like that. You know, where it's like, I don't know if that helped. <laughs> and the same thing for horror, where it's like, yeah, that's probably not going to help me fall asleep. But that has me thinking of what would be good. Because honestly, as much as it seems like, oh, well, the opposite would be find something really boring that doesn't get you thinking. I don't know if that works either. The idea of, like, counting sheep or whatever... That sounds more, like, frustrating than, like, sleep-inducing to me. Whatever, whatever. Uh, if anyone has a better idea, be sure to let me know. Okay. And I'll tell you a scary story. The oh-so-terrifying story of the Sandman. See, it all happened in this movie called Spider-Man 3. Okay, this might be the... This looks like that Sophie person that I was looking at the wiki. I hate that it wasn't showing just the Crooked Man. It was showing the whole anthology, which, while is nice... It is Sophie, okay. That is nice. It does make it hard to parse who was where, you know, in which game. So that'll be fine. Also, yeah, in case, in case it wasn't clear, I do want to try and play the third game in the series, which I think... Might be the Boogeyman. Boogeyman might be last. I don't. I don't know. But whichever the third one is, I'll try and play next year, and just have like these the series of games one a year. I think that'll be fun. Yeah, it's the second one in the series. The Crooked Man I played last year. If you want to watch that to get caught up, go go there. But now we're in the second one with Sophie. Morning already. Standing lamp. All right, school time. I did fall asleep now. Textbooks and novels alike. Teen magazines. Okay, so David was an adult, but it seems like Sophie is a teenager. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm looking fly in this. Oh. Bit of kitchen waste. A stove. Burn bottom. Oh yeah, I forgot to toast it yesterday. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> Not much food inside a cupboard. It's been used for a long time. The note. Dear Sophie, Papa will be staying at work for a while. I've left you money to take care of yourself with. Lock the doors and don't leave the stove on. Also, Sister Mary from the school called for me to see her. Did you do something bad? I'm too busy to go, so tell her for me. Well, damn, Mom. A phone. Rather old picture taken on a vacation. Hold on. So she didn't turn it off. 
Damn it, Sophie. Why is that a burnt bottom? Answer me. What's over here? Oh, shit, what? This... I didn't think there was a way out. Regan. Or is it Reagan? Hey, Sophie. You got a painter in your house. Because, man, that hair. How'd you get that red without a paint spill being involved? Follower? What? Is that, is that their name? Or is it just like... Or is it just like saying that's one of like her cronies or whatever? <laughs> what? Now hold on, Regan. Maybe she lives near a hot dog vendor. I mistook the ketchup for shampoo. Yeah, that's gotta be it. Oh, man. They got me. Miss Grundler, are you here? Yes. I want to talk. Come to my room at once. My last name is Grundler? Okay, of course I'm being bullied. Ah. Good. <laughs> what are you doing, klutz? Hurry up, you're so slow, seriously. Damn. I'll never recover from this. Oh, who that? And, okay. Sophie! I'm about Reagan. Try not to let it get to you. They're not worth responding to anyway. It's fine. I wonder why Regan teases tease you so much. Must be hard just being hurt. I'm the only outlet for her stress. <laughs> oh, well, I'm on your side, okay, Sophie? How nice, Anne. You're always, um, watching me. <laughs> well, we're friends. I don't have any friends but you. I need to see Sister Mary. See you later. Okay, bye. I feel like Sophie was kind of shutting down the, the friend aspect a bit. <laughs> like, hey, you're my friend. Uh, sure. <laughs> Come in. Welcome, Miss Grudler. Please take a seat. Yes, Sister Mary. Miss Grudler, you showed great improvement on your last exam. I'm truly moved by your diligence. You've always been a calm, model student. I'm hoping to see you keep it up. I have to tell the principal as well. Thank you very much. By the way, Miss Grundler, have you resolved what we discussed before? Did we talk? My, did you forget? You told me you were worried about your recent lack of sleep. Oh, yeah, so I did. Sorry, spacing out. I forgot. It's no good. I just can't sleep. I get in bed and try to doze off, but I just find myself up till morning. How long have you been sleepless? As of last night? Maybe about ten days? Damn! How the fuck do you manage to not sleep for ten days? I, like, she has to have some sort of disorder, because, like, even me, I'm bad at falling asleep, but, you know, I still sleep every day, basically. Sometimes there's days where, like, it just carries over, but, like, it's never more than that, you know, that one day. All right. Sorry, I can't remember that either. Oh, my. Have you gone to the hospital? No. My dad's busy, so I don't want to worry him. And it would cost money. Ah, uh, she must live in America. I see. I want to talk to your father myself, but it seems it's not at his convenience. I think I'll be able to sleep soon. Please don't worry about it. Excuse me. It's time for worship. Are you praying? For what? Pray to the Lord before you sleep. The teachers never miss a day. Perhaps you should try it? I may calm you down and allow you to sleep. I see. Excuse me. This one seems a bit more religious so far than the first one. Why is light given to those in misery and life to the better of soul? To those who long for death that does not come, who search for it more than hidden treasure. Who are filled with gladness and rejoice when they reach the grave. Why is life given to a man whose way is hidden, whom God has hedged in? Her sighing has become my daily food, my groans pour out like water. What I feared has come upon me, what I dreaded has happened to me. I have no peace, no quietness, I have no rest, but only turmoil. Now, give me a second, my cat's trying to get in. Hello, ma'am. 
What are you doing in here? Heard me talking. Said I wanted to be in here too. I want attention. Say hello to the peoples. Can you meow? No. No. I want to say something. Say something. That's so quiet. Okay. Job was a man honest and adoring justice, but as we all know, that does not ensure that disaster will not befall us, yes? Through calamity, he saw the truth, the truth that not everything can go swimmingly, though you may be too young to have such experience. Trust in the ways of the Lord and endure your hardship, just as the Son of God had faith in man and bore suffering. That is what gives us greater merit. So end my sermon. Now let us pray. Hello? So, was it a phone or was it the bell? Oh, okay. I should shower and get to bed. I feel like unless you're gonna do something with this, it's kind of weird to have... Oh, so that is the outside. Okay. Okay, is the bathroom. I would have expected it to be the other way around. Okay. God, I look awful. Bags under my eyes. The works. Because I haven't slept for days, I'm sure. Why can't I sleep? I just want to sleep soon. Well, maybe the Sandman will come visit. I'm so tired. I'm going to bed. See, I feel like it was kind of unnecessary to have a shower there. Like, I could have just looked in the mirror just as easily. Okay, so this must be your parents' room. Photo of mom. Computer is in sleep mode. Ha ha ha. I, I, I get what you're saying, game. Anything in this? Well, there hasn't really been anything so far. Let me check. My cell phone. Didn't work. Prior before bed, huh? Didn't I always do that when my mom was here? Anyway, um, so there was a lot of, like, really fun puzzles. Okay. There was a lot of really fun puzzles in the first game, so I'm hoping that continues over in this one. The Lord I pray my soul to keep. And if I die before I wake. The Lord, I pray, my soul to take. Well, I hope I don't die before I wake. Stupid. If that could put me to sleep, there'd be no trouble now, would there? Have you tried... getting hit in the head with something? Yo, did I fall asleep? Something's weird. What happened to the clock? That's true. The wall clock stopped at midnight. Weird. I just changed the battery. Is it broken or what? Um, well, since it mentioned that it stopped at midnight, um, there's a really good series out there. I want to say it was um, Scott Westerville was the author. I want to say. But I'm um, called The Midnighters. And, like, it's the idea that, like, when the clock strikes midnight, there's, like, this extra hour with, like, creatures that live in that hour. And these, like, teenagers that were born exactly at the strike of midnight um, are able to um, see that hour and live in it. So they are... And while they're there, they have, like, these special powers they each have and so on and so on. It, It's a really fun series. I don't want to explain any more than that, but, like, I, I hope that's a good enough concept. But, like, it's a really good YA series. Clock stopped at twelve too. What's this about? Yeah, this reminded me of that, so I wanted to like my shout out that series. Okay, somebody snoring. Okay, 
he's not in here, then he's gotta be like in my bathroom. No. Oh, yep, out here. Hello. It's the old guy from next door. What happened here? He's sleeping? Why out in the hall in the dead of night? Wait, maybe did he trip and hit his head? Oh no, I have to call an ambulance. Why don't they answer? It's a 911 call. If I can't get through to them, what am I supposed to glean from that? Oh, I need to go tell his wife. Excuse me, I'm the grumbler girl from next door. Your husband's fainted in the hall. Excuse me, are you in there, miss? It's not locked. It's wide open. So I'm going to go in, and she's also asleep. Okay. So everyone's knocked at him, I'm assuming, is what what's happening. Miss? Miss, get up, please. What happened? She's asleep, too. What's going on? Something's weird here, for sure. It's usually pretty noisy at night. Why is it so quiet tonight? Hot. Stove. A sink. Refrigerator. Trash can is empty. Cupboard. You're gonna be, like, the most basic descriptions of everything ever. Wait, what? I didn't read the second part. This for my house, this would be my room, but I shouldn't go in here. So why is this one, like, top down while ours is, like, left to right? Check everything. Make sure nothing's different before I head down the hall. Okay, nothing's really changed in my house, but everybody else is knocked out. Another person that's sleeping on the ground. Why are they all sleeping like that? What the hell is happening? Is there anyone else awake? Oh, I've got options. Fuck. Cafe. Just sign here. It's a map of the town. Got a town map. Okay. Can I look at it? Oh, okay. okay. Where where am I? Fuck. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Where's the cafe? I don't see the cafe. I was going to say that I could find my way from there, but apparently not. Okay. Okay. So, the hospital, not the hospital, uh, the high school is bottom left. Subway station is right at that. Hotel's over there. Greenfield Heights might be where I'm at. 7 and 12. Bloomberg Mall. We're in Boots Inc. We're in an apartment. J.P. Gordon Chase & Co. West Heights. Oh, this, there wasn't much to glean from that, honestly. There's a bank. Okay, let me check out these buildings before I go anywhere. Locked up tight. Mailbox. Okay. Can I go through? Okay. Cool. It saves me a little bit of time. Restaurant. It's locked up tight. Bank. It's locked up tight. Um. Let me try going this way. There's a hospital. Resting peacefully. Um, does the town map show me where I'm at? Okay, hold on, where's the hospital? Okay, I'm gonna assume that I'm in the top middle. And that I was at West Heights. I think that's where I'm at. This top middle, I think. The little... nine little things were my apartment. The cafe is right there, and then that building. And then there's a restaurant, and I'm guessing that's supposed to be the bank right there, and now here's the hospital. Boutique is locked up tight. Am I not able to get into this? Give me jump scare here. 
No? Okay. <laughs> I think that would have been fun. Book. I want book. Oh, shit. Paper. I have stories and such. Book lays on the floor. Oh, what the fuck? The vengeance of hell boils in my heart. Death and despair flame about me. If Sar Sarastro does not through you feel the pain of death, then you will be my daughter nevermore. Disowned may you be forever. Abandoned may you be forever. Destroyed be forever all the bonds of nature. If not through you, Sarastro becomes pale. Here, gods of revenge. Here, a mother's oath. I think I've read this before. Magic flute, was it? Well, I've never heard of that before. Uh, new books. Register. Is it okay to leave the door wide open when there's a cash register here? Nope. <laughs> okay, so there was definitely like a, a ghost over here, right? Did it leave anything? Hell's right here. It's locked. Hold on. Maybe. I could be wrong about where I am on the map. But I think. Hey! Stop messing with that. The last thing I need is you tearing up a poster. Hey. Yeah, you hear me? Get down. Get down from there. Get down. That's right. Okay. Okay, hold on. Let me check out the hospital. I don't even want to go to near a hospital at night. Oh, hello, ma'am. What are you doing up here now? Okay, so I am at the top. Okay. Okay, okay. So that confirmed what I thought. So these should be a different set of apartments here. Can we go in? It's locked up tight. Why wasn't mine locked up? Oh. It's locked shut. It's locked shut. It's locked shut. It's locked shut. Is there going to be something upstairs? Oh, these have numbers, by the way? 203. Okay. Okay, they're all locked shut. Glad I could go in there. I have a feeling I'm going to be coming back later at some point. Convenience store. Well, it's inconvenient to me that it's shut. This leads over here. So I wonder if the whole game's gonna be in this town or if this is only like the first part. There's a bakery. Anyone up here? Nope. So what was this? Greenfield Heights seems like an apartment building. It's locked. It's locked. It's locked. There's a little well here. And a little log cabin. Oh, that's nice. Plastic container. Guns. Seems awful dangerous to just leave these lying around here. Yeah. I agree. Ladder. Can I climb it? 
In fact, a lot of this stuff I'm going to be coming back for. It's just to double check where I'm at on the map, Greenfield Heights. So it's I think it works like a little grid. Like this over here is one spot of the map. This here is one spot on the map. Then down here is another spot on the map. Then up here is a spot on the map. Here is a spot on the map. And then here is a spot on the map. So like six little areas, I think. Of which I've seen four now. It's minimum five, I think. Today's special is lasagna full of cheese and veggies. Mm, that sounds good. Oh shit, it's the bar bar. Am I have to go into school? Yeah, it's locked up tight. Church. I have a truck on the map? Oh yeah, there is. Hold on, how does this have its own little area? Beer garden. Okay, that's locked up. I have been able to go through surprisingly little of this town. Okay, I can't go through that, I guess. That's weird. Well, hello. He's also unconscious. So outside, I like that, that ghost in the shop. I haven't seen nothing. Also, it seems like I haven't been able to... It seems like the map is a little bit off. Like this middle section. Actually, maybe it's like nine spots and I was miscounting. Oh, does this lead up to an area I've already been to? Oh, I've not been here yet. Okay. So I was missing something. Okay. Stop 12. Staff room, it's locked. Well, damn, I just can't do anything here, can I? Chocolate cake here is delicious. That's good to know. Factory. Okay. Have I checked over here yet? Yo, what? She gets weird, weird. All people have seen her sleep in the street. What in the world is going on? Oh, what? Oh, God. He's doing the sands. Sophie? Is that David? Ah, so it is you. David? See, I'm glad I made sure to remember who he was and double check everything in the first game because I didn't I didn't think he was coming back to be honest. But I'm glad that he is. It's good to see him again. Anyway, I'm going to stop here. See you all next time in the Sandman. Bye. Thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like and comment and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you.